Hey everyone, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. I was not planning on doing this video today, but my package arrived and I was thinking I don't have any other days off. Today is my last day off and so I have to do this today. This is what I'm talking about. This whole video is going to be about transforming this space. So this is the current situation. We have this big bulky table and currently this is like a dumping site for all our groceries and this is also where our fruit bowls are. But what's giving me grief is this. So this is our rubbish system. We have um, a big bin for the glass. This is for like plastic and paper. That's general rubbish and the blue bin is for um, 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 compost and also like we have slippers and stuff I put it up there because I mopped the floor earlier this is good for the environment but it's giving me grief every time I see it I'll also show you guys the rest of the kitchen my plan is I'm gonna build the shelf because it came unassembled so I have to assemble it I'm going to clean the kitchen countertop I want it super clean super neat and then finally I'm gonna do something about this whole situation I only have two hours left because um, like I said the shelf was just delivered it's already half past four in the afternoon and then Ray gets home maybe half past six so uh, what I'm gonna do when he gets home I'm gonna blindfold him Blah, blah, blah. So what I'm going to do when he gets home, I'm going to blindfold him and then do a big reveal. Two hours left. Wish me luck. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me, I'm back. So this is just me putting the shelf together. It's a bit boring if I may say so myself. That's why I'm doing a voiceover. Oh, by the way, did you see the cat? If not, she makes a reappearance re towards the end of the video so you can catch her then. So I just want to talk about me liking building stuff like this shelf. I totally don't mind building this shelf by myself. This is actually an easier shelf compared to the first one I built. So the very first thing I built was a table. It's like a study table. I begged my parents to buy me one and so we bought it. We came home and I built it myself with my dad. This was actually ages ago. I think when I just started in university so anyway my dad was there and i think he helped me towards the start and also towards the end because he had a big nap in the middle it took a while and i can to totally understand that now because now that i'm a bit older i nap quite a bit oh i totally forgot something how are you guys what's up how's it going let me know in the comments below i do read your comments and i answer if i can because i'm a small channel i have the time but i think we're nearing the end of this shelf let's just appreciate my work and this celebratory thing that i'm doing <laughs> So this is just the next part of the video. I am putting stuff away and cleaning the kitchen because like I said at the start I wanted everything to be very clean, very neat, OCD me. But anyway, back to my liking, um, what did I say earlier? I like how to build stuff. So I think that's the reason why I love orthopedic surgery and I've done a lot of specialties at work but um, orthopedic surgery is my absolute favorite. My favorite surgeries are hips and knee surgeries, especially knee revision. And I think it's because there are so many equipment we use and I have to put them together before we can use it. And it's like playing with Lego or like playing with puzzle pieces, if you know what I mean. Before I ramble on about stuff that you might not be interested in, I want to ask you guys what kind of content would you like to see me do? Because at the moment, I do random stuff like, you know, this video. It's essentially my life. I do my hobbies and what I do with my daily life and I put it on video because I think it's cool even though my YouTube won't blow up but it's for me, you know? Like 10 years from now, it'd be so cool to look back on these videos. It's like reading your journal but instead of reading it's on video so let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you'd like me to create and I might just do that 
another thing that I'd like to share with you guys is that I actually became a minimalist when I came to New Zealand. It's actually quite ironic gay eh? because now that I'm earning more, I don't want to buy a lot of shit. <laughs> Becoming a minimalist is intertwined with helping the environment and that's a long story. I think that's for another video and I think we are almost done with this clip. I'll leave you guys to it and let you enjoy the rest of the video in peace <laughs> without my voiceover. So, goodbye! building the shelf now and putting the things on it and I'm really super uber happy with how this turned out it looks like this there's so much space here we still have space for the fruits and we have space for all our shoes and slippers because before it used to be everywhere it used to be in that corner in that corner in this corner it was just everywhere and the only thing that I retained is the general rubbish the other things I put in here so we have the paper plastic recycling and the compost bin is here and the glass recycling is in the shed because um, we don't use a lot of glass anyway. And look at this, like this is also another plus because you can use this cabinet before like we had to move the table and um, to open this. And also there's one more thing and I have to ask you. So I don't know what to do with this big table. So it's like a solid wood. It's a really good sturdy table. And I don't know if I should just leave it outside the house and someone will pick it up because we do that here in New Zealand. Or do you think I should cut the legs, make it into a coffee table? Because at the moment, we don't have a coffee table. We just have those poofs. How about this one? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Useful. <laughs> nice. At least we have space for our shoes now. Yes. How about that one? What is, where is this going? For? We're thinking we're gonna cut the legs and make it into a coffee table. Ooh. Bubbles. What do you think? Bubbles. What do you think? Yeah. 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 What do you think? So much room. I know, right? And we have a place to put all our shoes and slippers. Oh man, I put my shoes right. Huh? <laughs> 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 What do you think? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you like it? Yeah, it's very spacious. Now I can do like, you know. You can do that in the lounge, but okay, spacious. you can do that in the kitchen too. Yeah. Versace, 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 Versace. Oh, so spacious. It could be your room now. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it could be your room. Okay, so I wanted to surprise Ray. Like, I told him to close his eyes when he arrived, but he wasn't following instructions. It was cold outside. Hi, <sighs> Naka. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You can't wait on other people to be what you've been called to be. You can't wait on their affirmation. You can't wait on their approval. You can't wait on their support. Sometimes you just gotta run and look behind you and say, everybody who wants to run, run, but I can't stop running because you're not running with me. Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing.